paint it? Empty! It'll be empty, you idiot! <laughs> Big hand is pointing up, and the little hand is pointing up. The kid's door will be in my station. But when the big hand points down, the door will be gone. You have until then to put the kid back. Get the picture? This will count as coercion and intimidation, which would give Randall 2.5 years. This shows that his original plan was to kidnap the child, which would give him attempted child abduction. He gets seven years for this. Even though Randall didn't directly throw Mike and Sully out the door, he was still an accomplice to the crime and will be charged. Also, unlawful banishment isn't a real crime as it's not really possible in the real world to banish someone from the country without authority. So the closest crime I could find is illegal eviction, which in a previous case awarded the tenant $100,000. So we'll be charging Randall this amount. Also, I'm gonna start putting Waternoose's crimes on the bottom and he'll get the exact same charge. This time, Randall successfully abducts the child and attempts to extract the scream out of her, which is torture of a minor. Get up! There can't be any witnesses! There won't be. This is a direct agreement from Waternoose and Randall to kill Sullivan and Mike. They both get two life sentences here for conspiracy to murder. Randall gets a further two as he directly attempts to kill them twice. He once again abducts the child. When the door lands in the station, cut the power. You'll have the child and the criminals responsible for this whole mess. Scaring isn't enough anymore. But kidnapping children? I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die, and I'll silence anyone who gets in my way! <laughs> This is his ultimate plan, to traffic children for Scream Energy. Since he has taken steps towards this plan and kidnapped the child already, he will get life imprisonment for child trafficking and will likely be shanked in prison due to committing a crime against children. He also commits battery on Sully, so that's an extra six months on top of it. I don't know what I was thinking when I called attempting to kill a rat in a kitchen animal abuse, but yeah, he wasn't aware that this rat was sentient and sanitary, and generally, a rat would have posed a health risk, so he was in the right to do this. No, 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 no! The DNA matches, the timing works, everything checks out. He is Gusto's son. But this, this can't just happen! After doing a lot of research into will laws, I still have no clue whether or not Skinner is breaking the law by not informing the executor that Linguini was the heir to the restaurant. It is likely that due to the terms of the will, that if an heir isn't found in two years, Skinner gets the restaurant, that Skinner may have had to sign an agreement to hand over the ownership to the restaurant if an heir came forward. But Linguini doesn't come forward, and he doesn't even know he's Gusto's son. The only alive person to know is Skinner. Does he have a legal obligation to inform Linguini? or the executor? I don't think so. He only has to hand over the restaurant if he comes forward, which he does later in the film.
Ich kann nicht mehr rufen. Du kommst an Ratatouille! Halt den Hallen, du no! Neither of us exist. Please pay attention as this message is classified and will not be repeated. I represent a top secret division of the government designing and testing experiments. Syndrome pretends to be a government agent in order for Mr. Incredible to trust him, and this is impersonation of a federal officer, which will give him three years. Alright, try this one on for size, big boy. Syndrome kills off a lot of superheroes to train his robot to the point of near extinction. We will give him genocide with a death sentence. Mr. Incredible calling for help? Help me, help me. <laughs> lame, 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 lame! All right, who did you contact? Contact? What are you talking about? So you do know these people? Oh, well then, I'll send them a little greeting. Abort, abort, abort! Abort, abort, abort! Syndrome shoots down the plane because Mr. Incredible knew the people on board. He is later aware that there are children on board, but does not call off the missiles. Had it not been for Edna's new suits, they would probably be dead. I will give him the death penalty for attempted murder and child murder as well. I'll also add on a hundred million dollar fine for the destruction of a private jet. And in time, who knows? He might make a good sidekick. <laughs> He's getting away, Bob! He has to do something! He has to do something now! Syndrome abducts a baby and also destroys the roof of the building. He'll get 10 years for this. 